Lewis Hamilton is arguably the best Formula 1 driver ever. In the last 8 years, out of the total of 160 plus Grand Prix, he has won almost half of it. That means, purely on race wins, he single-handedly can beat the rest of the grid. With such a track record, it is logical to think that it is an almost impossible task to beat Lewis Hamilton in a Grand Prix. You need to be in the best car, at least matching him on machinery, and you need to have the skills and experience and luck favoring you the entire weekend. But let's say you have all that. How exactly can you beat Hamilton? Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to. Beat him in qualifying. With over 100 poles, Hamilton is the best qualifier ever in Formula 1. If you plan to beat him, you need to focus on a track that does not favor him or his team and is difficult to overtake. I am talking about Monaco. Mercedes themselves have a hit and miss track record on this track and in Monaco you will probably have your best chance to beat him. Your focus should clearly be on qualifying. Monaco is more or less fun in qualifying. Survive this and you have a relatively easy time on Sunday. While it is essential that you put the car on pole, it also helps if Hamilton only manages to qualify further down the grid. Be ready to brake late. One reason Max has managed to beat Lewis so much this season is how he has been able to outbreak Lewis and be ultra aggressive on the corners. Lewis is a master of late braking, and that makes it very difficult to outbreak him. But he is also someone who takes very calculated risks. If you have to beat him, you have to go a step beyond, trust your luck and abilities and break an inch ahead of him. If you are on pole and he is somewhere in the first two rows, expect him to attack you on turn one. It is essential that you outbreak him then. Once you lose position, it would be an impossible task to regain it. Master the tire management game. In order to outrace Hamilton, you need to beat him at his game. Perez has been such an effective force for Red Bull this year because of how good he is with the tire management by staying out longer and wedging a gap between Mercedes and Max. If you need to beat Lewis, you should make sure you manage the tire better than him. This means you can maybe stay out a lap or two longer than him and build to the lead ensuring you don't lose position during your pit stop. Stop after Hamilton As a general rule of thumb, it makes sense to have a strategy which is a bit different from your competition. But on a track like Monaco, it would be difficult to follow other cars. That means, at your first stint, you should make sure you build enough lead that when you come out of the pit stop for your second stint, you are already ahead of the pack. But regardless of whether that is possible, it helps immensely if you come out of the pit stop already ahead of Lewis rather than struggle behind him for a couple of laps before he pits. Put Hamilton under pressure. If your team believes you have a genuine chance of winning, your teammate will be put to create more trouble for the Mercs. It would definitely help if your teammate is putting Hamilton under pressure from behind or manage to slot in between you and Hamilton behind you. In a track like Monaco, this would be even more frustrating which ultimately means he might lose his cool and make a mistake. If you successfully manage to do all this, you might have a small chance in beating him. Even if you get everything right, if Hamilton is still at the top of his game, it could be almost impossible to stop him. What you need is, more than anything, is luck favoring you. Every champion gets out of form. If you are lucky, it would be in a track and conditions that favors him the least. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content and stay tuned to I am Formula for everything Formula 1. Until next time, take care and stay safe.